A muscle car is defined as any group of American-made two-door sports cars with powerful engines designed for high-performance driving. They typically use a powerful V8 and are four-seater rear-wheel drive coupés. They are also said to be affordable, but that's a topic of debate, so these non-American-made models could potentially fit into this group. BMW M3 E92 Let's face it, the E92 M3 ticks most if not all of the checkboxes. Many of you may argue that the M3 is capable in corners while the original muscle cars are not, but the definition does not mention straight line acceleration only. Other M3s could potentially be muscle cars too, but typically a V8 defines this group of cars. Jensen Interceptor The Jensen Interceptor was one of the last cars to be built by this company, which was founded in 1934. Sold as a hatchback, coupé and convertible, the Interceptor was only sold with a bunch of Chrysler V8 engines, in particular the 383B, 440RB and 360LA. There was an optional manual transmission with a limited slip diff. Gordon Keeble The Gordon Keeble is a rare vehicle, only 100 of them were built. The design was created by Giugiaro's hand in Italy, and the power plant came from the USA. The initial concept had a 4.6 liter, the production model featured a 5.3 liter Chevy V8. Its body was made of fiberglass. Ford Capri Piranha Starting in 1969 at the Brussels Motor Show, after the Mustang's success in America, Ford introduced a European pony car, the Capri. During its development, they named it the Colt, but Mitsubishi already owned the trademark. Besides the tiny four cylinders, a V8 variant existed too. With the Windsor 302 engine, it was indeed something else. Radalici, 
BMW 840i. First of all, I think the majority of you will agree if I say the E31 8 series is one of the most beautiful BMWs ever made. The BMW 8 should be equipped with the V12, but some V8s were sold too. Only 18 examples of the 3 liter were in existence, though the 4.0 and 4.3 liter ones were offered for a longer period of time sold in much higher numbers. Holden Monaro CV8 The Holden Monaro was a muscle car from day one. Except for several straight 6s and a few V6s, V8s were standard. This is the third gen, which in the USA was later turned into the Pontiac GTO. While America enjoyed the 6 liter LS2, the smaller 5.7 LS1 was offered in Australia. Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupé The C63 is an example similar to the E92 M3. Although its predecessors were powered by V8 engines too, only the W204 and new W205 have been offered as a coupé in the AMG trims. The 507 horsepower edition 507 was sold as a swan song. <laughs> Aston Martin V8 The Aston Martin V8 was a standalone model with a number of variations. A Polish engineer, Tadek Marek, was responsible for the 5.3 liter V8 engine, which was available all those years. They later used it in its successor, the Virage. Only 3 speed automatics and 5 speed manuals were sold in it. Jaguar XKR The Jaguar XK8 was a grand tour, but things changed when Jaguar introduced the supercharged version, the XKR. From the same displacement, it produced roughly 80 more horsepower, coupled to a Mercedes 5-speed automatic transmission. Later on, some other performance enhancements were made to the supercharged XKR. 